Hey, what's up, everybody? You already know what it's hitting for. I'm about to shoot camera porn. I got everything set up. I figured I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes, you know what I mean, a little quick teaser. Let me turn this off to save some battery, though. Because I figured that I use today's vlog to touch on an important topic. Let me switch the point of view. Now, I understand the shot might look noisy and a little grainy. We already talked about that in other episodes, but blame it on the iPhone. I'm going to keep today's vlog really simple. I'm not going to do no emojis. Today's vlog should be on a more important, serious subject. Um, I figure I'd tell you guys a little bit more in-depth about what's going on behind the scenes. I know in the beginning of the year, I said I'd give you guys a heads up on the good, the bad, and all that stuff that goes on behind the scenes. There's been a variety of things that's happened throughout the weeks. Um, one, you know, happened this morning, and it happened on two occasions today alone, and it's happened throughout the past, you know, six, several months, past six, seven years, to be honest. But I figured I'd break it down to you guys now, for those of you who don't know or who are just tuning in now, just so you guys don't take it, you know what I mean, personal, and don't think it's, you know, nothing crazy or out of the ordinary. Well, to make a long story short, you guys will probably hear more about my past employment probably by the end of this month, so I'm not going to get too in-depth on, you know, my past employment. However, I did leave work to do video production full-time, guys. I did do this um, to make it the life goal, to make it the end goal, to make it the do-all, you know what I mean? And what does that mean? That means that every contract counts. I don't receive a bi-weekly income. I don't receive a weekly income. I don't receive a monthly income. I receive zero income. You know, all the income that I am, you know, able to be blessed with um, is given to me by contracts and me grinding, contract by contract, and maybe my side hustles. You know what I mean? But um, as far as how I eat, how I pay bills and everything, it's through this grind that you see right here through video production. Uh, the past six, several years, I've been hit up on a variety of occasions. I can't count how many occasions I've had dudes who own garages wanting me to shoot, like, garage series for them, like, you know, pimp their ride type stuff. I had people who own detail shops who wanted me to do videos for them. I've had, you know, musicians who wanted me to take me under their wing and keep me with their label. I've had, like, for example, other musicians that wanted me to sign a contract with Sony and, like, do some type of, you know, business on the long run. Bro, I turned all of that down, bro. Like, and I have my reasons, and they may not be so apparent to you guys, and I may not make them so known, but I'm hungry, bro. I'm struggling. I'm grinding. Like, when I say I'm grinding, that's not a metaphorical term. I know I put the little skateboarder, you know, skateboarding by and say I'm grinding, and you guys might think it's funny, but yo, bro, like, we'll get more into this, but have you woken up next to a frozen bottle of ice cold water? So cold, rock cold, that you can't even drink it? Have you edited it with 12 layers on to stay warm? Bro, I'm trying to get it, man. Like, the reason why I turned down those projects, listen, I worked. And even when I was working, I was struggling. And despite me working and having benefits and 30 days vacation and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, getting a steady income, I was still doing my side grinds. I was still doing my side hustles. I was still doing my online hustles. I was still doing my local hustles. I was still doing a variety of hustles because my work employment wasn't kicking it for me. Now, where does that lead to this is I said, I'm going to go for this full time to create a life that I desire. To build a life around my goals, my dreams, my schedule. You know what I mean? The only person you can rely on is you. Don't try to rely on me because I'm not trying to rely on you. The only person you can rely on is you. I'm up sometimes 4.35 a.m. Will you be up 4.35 a.m.? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm editing sometimes late night. I say it again and again. 11, 12, 1 in the morning. And that may not sound crazy. They're like, but bro, that's like what you're supposed to do. But repetitive, every day, no breaks, no hiccups. I barely have time for myself, bro. Like, since the year started, this is what, vlog today is vlog 70, 172. Y'all could correct me below. But the past 70 or so days, I have spent all but probably five minutes with my father. The past 70 days, I probably spent all but maybe two hours with my mother, and that's probably because I got a chance to see her on New Year's, and that was before another year or two years of not seeing her. With my wife, I've spent probably, 
you know, on fun time, on fun occasion, me and her probably had two or three days where we got to squeeze in because of cancellations and because of other stuff. And we got maybe six, several hours to ourselves to enjoy relaxation. But yet my phone was still blowing up. People still wanted to contact me for this, for that, and the third. The time that I'm getting to myself is very, very, very limited. I'm prioritizing all financial gigs first. If you reach out to me for some type of work, I appreciate you. Like, if you reach out to me for paid work, first and foremost, I appreciate you. You the real MVP because you're helping me eat. Thank you. You're helping me eat. However, for the people who reach out to me for probably, like, let's say, like, creative, collaborative gigs, short films, skits, uh, documentaries, things of that nature... Guys, I have several plus documentaries, short films, and uncontinued projects I've been sitting on for about three, four, five years. There's people that I have right now on tentative, on standby. I use several as a metaphor, but several different people who are interested in working with me on probably two or three little small skits that I've committed to last year. And I try to squeeze those in to, like, you know, the benefit of the doubt. Like, I'm trying to collaborate. I'm trying to grow. And I'm, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, you want to grow your craft. I know you guys are thinking, but, bro, you're a filmmaker. Like, you're supposed to just do all films. But, bros, film the true story, the true, the truth to Hollywood. And the truth to being a filmmaker is it's a starving artist trade, bro. You don't make no money up front. Unless you got some crazy funders, financiers, producers, backers, people who want to back your idea and back your vision. And how are they going to back your idea and back your vision? It's by grinding. Putting in consistent, steady effort. Teaching yourself discipline. Bro, this year I'm trying to teach myself discipline. Bro, for the past few years... I've tried collaborating, I've tried networking, I've had 17 different entities walk in and out of my life, trying to do partnerships, trying to, to literally, like, trying to partner up businesses, trying to, like, work on, on movies, on short films, and this and that. When they seen that, there wasn't no benefit for them, they skirted. And to be honest, I'm, I mean, I'm not mad at it, maybe I didn't need those people in my life. But the thing is, is if you can't understand that homeboy over here, homeboy over here is hungry. I don't use that as a metaphor. You ever went a whole week with every day just eating once a day if you were lucky? Once a day? Five dollars. All you got in your pocket is five bucks. And you got to figure out how to stretch it, bro. No access to a kitchen, bro. No access to a refrigerator, bro. I'm grinding, bro. I got to put food on the table in order to feed this body, fuel this urge, this goal, and keep moving forward. Don't sit there and think that I'm never going to work on a film. Oh, Tune's never going to work on a film. Oh, Tune's never going to work on a film. He's not a real filmmaker. No, bro. I'm prioritizing my freelance gigs, my contracted gigs, because that's what's helping me buy equipment. That's what's helping me stay fed. That's what's putting gas in the wheel. Like, people think like a short film, you know, on several occasions I've been hit up. It's sad because today I was hit up by two blessed young brothers, young individuals. Thank you guys. This ain't nothing personal. I know I sound enthusiastic. I know I sound like tonal or whatever. But learn about my story and you'll learn by why I talk the way I do and I'm so expressive. And by the end of this month, you might learn a little bit more about the kid. You know what I mean? I might tell you about the past work experiences. You know what I mean? But yeah, bro, like it ain't nothing personal. Like I've had people hit me up and they be like, yo, bro, let's shoot a movie. And I'm like, in my shaggy voice, bruh, baggy do, shoot a movie. Do you know how long it takes to shoot a movie? Do you know the thought process, the effort, the budget, the funds, the scheduling, the just the organization, how to orchestrate a movie? It's not easy, bro. From the production packet to the scheduling to the casting to the props to the on set. Yeah, you can have several people help you. I know they say, but 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 two, but two. I'll work for you and but two, but but I'll work for you, but but two, I'll help you. It's not that easy, bro. I've tried it before, and sad enough to say, best thing that I've learned for best practices, try not to have nobody work for you for free unless it's coming out of the kindness of their heart, man. Because if they don't realize I'm struggling, I barely got gas to go to these shoots, bro. So if you're trying to get me to go to the shoot, you're trying to get me to pop up here. Pop... Yo, bro, I had somebody with, like, I would say, 
let's just say over 200,000 followers. You know what I mean? I worked with a couple of people that fell in that range, but as somebody in that realm last year, not even last year, I would say two, three years ago, hit me up out of the blue, like, yo, tune, what's up? We got this shoot. You want to come out? You want to help out? Trying to be a good Samaritan, you know, trying to be a good friend, or trying to be like how you would probably think I should be. Um, uh, he has a good following, and maybe I can get some more potential clients. Yeah, that's true. Although that's true. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? That's true. That don't mean nothing to me. But let me tell you how, out of kindness of my heart, I said, okay, I'm going to go link up with Bull. I'm going to go bring my equipment, bring three, $4,000 of equipment to the set. I didn't ask him, a, I should have asked him a rate. I should say, yo, bro, I'm rating. The first thing, I don't do no last minute shoots for no one. You could give me money today and say, yo, tune tomorrow. I got a written act. I got a stack. Come and shoot with me. Bro, I got a schedule. I got a life. I got a column. I booked two weeks in advance. It's called professionalism. I came from a very professional background, bro, bros. It's not too hard to be professional. When you go to McDonald's or you go to Burger King or you go somewhere, you go buy some sneaks. Do you tell the person at the Olympia, yo, bro, let me get them J's, you know, they, they're buck 80, but I, but I got a buck 40 right right now for you. A buck 40, bro, 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 listen. But if I cop them J's, you don't know how many other more people will come here and cop them J's because they see me wearing them. Like, bro, like, listen, trust me. Believe me, you're going to get paid. Nah, bro, I went on too many people's beliefs on who they know in the industry and who they know there and who they know that. I did many years of favors before I got to where I'm here today. Ain't no more favors, bro. Ain't no more handouts. Like right now, this year is the year of self-development. You don't know how hard it was a few years ago trying to get people. You know, the hardest part of a short film, aside from the budget, aside from the time, aside from all that, yeah, you could shoot a little ghetto hood, hood skit in a hood budget, but, bro, I'm trying to put my name on quality. It's not quantity. It's quality versus quantity. And what this daily vlogging thing is teaching me is it's teaching me how to create quality. It's teaching me how to schedule my life. It's teaching me how to, yo, some days I'm telling y'all I'm shooting two to three videos a day. Some days I'm telling y'all I'm editing two to three edits a day. And that may not sound like a lot, but when each shoot lasts six, seven, eight hours, or each edit lasts six, several, eight, nine hours of sitting down on an L or, or, or moving around and shoot, yeah, I love it. I love this. This is my fun, y'all. So don't ever try to Say what I'm saying is contradictory to me enjoying my career. However, you do have to set standards. You do have to set limits. I'm a business. I'm a business, yo. And this ain't ever saying that we won't ever work, bro. Let me get situated. Let me let me put some food in the stomach. Let me let me get an established location, a warehouse, a factory, several warehouses, a whole block, bro. Let me get organized. Let me get established. Let me get situated. Bro, I got a whole, I can probably say, list of 30, 40 people who within the past couple years reached out to me. Can I be your intern? Can I help you on shoots? Do you need any help? I could be a second camera operator, et cetera, et cetera. Bro, you don't work for free. I know I don't. I don't work for free. And I'm sure you're not going to have somebody work with me for two, three, four shoots for free and then start throwing it in my face. Like, yeah, I work for free. This boy don't, don't, don't pay me if it wasn't for me. He, he, he wouldn't have that shot if it wasn't for me. You see, he, he was doing this wrong and he was the... Bro, I'm responsible for myself. If it comes out wrong, it's my fault. If it comes out right, it's my fault. If I win, it's my fault. If I lose, it's my fault. If I break one of my tools, it's my fault. No one's fault but my own. If I fail, it's my fault. If I'm killing my business, it's my fault. But guess what? I am the creator of my universe. So if this is my rules and my regulations, it is what it is, bro. That car you financing, there was only so many strings you could pull at the dealer in order for it to get it for this low. Let's stop. Guys, I sound passionate, don't I? I'm just a passionate speaker, bro. In order for me to talk this long without stuttering, it's a blessing, bro. Because if you don't know my story, I used to stutter. And here and there, I still get it in, but... You know what I mean? Like, let me get established. Let me get situated. And in the future, I am going to remember the genuine few. The people who reached out and the people who volunteered their time. And if you volunteer your time for me out of the humbleness of your heart, I appreciate you. That means a lot. Because I'm, I'm, I'm hard with my time, bro. I'm going to die soon, bro. I'm going to say it just like that. I got, what, 70 more years if I'm lucky? Then this person you see on the screen ain't going to be here, bro. Build your life. Don't let no one build it for you. 
You're going to learn about the story, bro. There's little gaps in the story, but you're going to learn, my Gs. You're going to learn. Hey, yo, that case I put on yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, bro, that case don't even allow me to put the damn phone on the little selfie stick no more. Because this piece right here, this piece right here, doesn't, like, clamp on the phone, yo. It sucks. Like, it doesn't clamp. It really sucks, bro. So right now I'm holding the phone handheld. So if I want to use, like, a selfie stick, I'm going to have to take it out the case. Out of, oh, man, yeah. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to, like, you know what I mean, plant plant some some seeds. And in case I get asked the same question, which I will, I promise you, I might get asked it tomorrow, I might get asked it next week. This wasn't for nobody in particular. I get asked this so much, sometimes I think it's a joke. Like, one week, I got asked it by, like, three or four people. And I know some people probably like, yo, bro, but, but those are your blessings in disguise. That could be the one that goes big. Bro, let, let me decide that, man. All I need is your blessings. Matter of fact, I don't even need your blessings, bro. I believe in myself. If you want to give me your blessings, I appreciate you, man. But, um... Stay tuned. I will be putting out some short films this year that are way overdue. Some skits that are way overdue. And if you mess with me, I appreciate you from the heart, B. I appreciate you. I had somebody tell me something crazy yesterday. I'm veering off the subject, right? I was supposed to tell you why I don't, I don't shoot short films and all that. But listen, this is important. This is more important than what I'm talking about. This person, I'm not going to put their gender out. I'm not going to put their age, nothing out. But this person told me that somebody very closely to them and their family was going to commit suicide until they heard my voice that they were at a graveyard with the burner to their brain, bro. And they were going to end it all. And I've been there, bro. I've been there. I try to end it all on multiple occasions. Suicide not cool, bro. It's not. And this is for you, homie. A homegirl, if you watching, my voice was able to stop them from doing that. Their sibling, their family member said, hey, listen to what this dude is talking about. And that person broke down into tears and turned around and said, I'm not going to do that. If that was a real story that was told to me, this person told me right here, you blew me away out of this world. I don't need nobody to watch this. That right there was my end goal. That's why I was put on earth. That's why I was put here. I don't care what nobody say. That's why I was put here, bro. For y'all to see my struggle. Don't let all of this fool you. There's a struggle behind this. There was a struggle to get here. And I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling, bro. I ain't got no beef. I ain't got no beef for nobody, bro. Hey, yo, brother. Hey, yo, younger brother. I still got your dub up. I still got your dub up there, bro. Where's it at? Fudge. I still got your dub up there, bro. I ain't, I ain't spend it. No matter how hungry I've been since you gave it to me. Hey, yo, y'all. I'm going to tune out. I got to shoot camera porn, bro. Respect the shooter. And stop devaluing the craft. Just because everybody own a DSLR or mirrorless camera. And you can go get yourself a... Uh, a uh, videographer kit with a camera, a drone, and a laptop. Stop devaluing the craft, bro. I got a degree, bro. I got debt in this field, bro. And that debt gonna get paid off real soon, bro, because what I'm doing is coming from the heart. And I contributed a lot to the community. I did a lot of free projects, a lot of free gigs. Still to this day, I'm grinding for free on certain ends. So listen, you can't tell me nothing, bro. All you can do is support me, and I'm going to support you, bro. And whether you don't want to support me, I support you. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We all don't see the world the same. Stay blessed, y'all. This was a really dope vlog. For those two people that hit me up this morning, yo, this ain't nothing personal. Got my brothers. Listen, we all connected in this world. And thank you for inspiring a long overdue vlog. Like, this vlog is way overdue. You know what I mean? I, this is something where now if anybody hits me up throughout the year, I'm going to just copy and paste this link and send it to them and be like, yo, no pun intended, no hard feelings, but this is pretty much what it is. And if you're understanding, you'll understand where I'm coming from and you'll feel me 100. 
Give me a fist pound, y'all. Fist pound. I'm hungry, bro. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even eat yet. I ain't eat yet. But it's, but it's Gucci. It's grind season. It's like 12 o'clock, right? Peace, y'all. Stay out of the way. Stay productive. And stay tuned. Because tune will be producing some stuff. And when them big funders and them big financiers come through with that check, a couple million, maybe a couple billion on the strength of believing in my vision. Remember, I got to put in this grind for them to believe the vision. Then I'm going to hit all the genuine people back up and say, yo, it's time to work, bro. I got a studio. I got a location. Now it's director tune in action. But until then, I still got to build the name and I still got to build the brand, y'all. Blessings. Thank you for watching.